Welcome to TEDx Cold Park Countdown. My name is Lisa Wisner and I am a TEDx licensee and organizer. And our theme for today is Countdown. Essentially, this is a call to action for you for climate change. You know, climate change is real and your response after the event today may take one of these forms. Either you're gonna be part of the solution to slow it down, or you may choose to keep on living with the changes that are happening and believing that there's nothing we can do about it. Every organization, every company, every city, every nation, and citizens everywhere are invited to collaborate with Countdown to take action on climate change. This is a movement that's open to anyone and everyone, including you. Yes, you are everyone. And everyone has a vital part to play. With global awareness about the climate crisis on the rise, more of us are beginning to look for new ways for us to dive deeper into this topic. Learning all the words, learning all the research and all the reasons why we need to do things in a different way. Now, your host and curator of our event today is our very own Suraida Nanas James. Suraida is an ecologist, a stempreneur, and an educator here in Corpus Christi, Texas. She's dedicated 
contribute to increasing to increasing diversity and inclusion in the STEM fields. And now I know Soraida from being the president and CEO of Gulf Reach, which focuses on education, on STEM and culture. Welcome, Soraida Nanas James. Welcome everyone to TEDx Co Park Countdown. Countdown is a global initiative to champion and accelerate solutions to the climate crisis by turning ideas into action for a better future. My name is Suraya Dananias James, and I serve our community as a leader in STEM education, where I help to empower and inspire youth to not only learn, but to advocate and to act. This event is all about our common love for humanity. The goal is to share ideas about how we can build a better future by cutting greenhouse gas emissions by half for the year 2030. This world is a safer world, a cleaner and a fairer world for all. The plan for today is for this countdown to answer the fundamental interconnected questions that help inform a blueprint for a cleaner future. We are bringing you scientists, activists, entrepreneurs, students, farmers, even chefs and others to find the most effective evidence-based ideas out there. Our goal is to identify those bold solutions that can be activated when people like us get out of our silos and rise to the challenge. During this time of social distancing, we hope that by participating in this virtual event, you will feel more connected. From all of us at TEDx Coal Park, we hope that you and your loved ones stay safe and enjoy this event. My name is Simon Del Alto and I'm an environmental engineer. Climate change is happening at record speeds and it's impacting both humans and animals alike. Now, more than ever, it is important to create changes that can help slow down climate change and the negative impacts it has on all humans and living creatures. One way my family and I are helping to reduce our carbon footprint is by eating less meat and animal products. By doing so, we help reduce the amount of indirect pollution and carbon dioxide released into the environment. My name is Grace Rush. I am a student at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. There are many ways you can help to protect and preserve our environment. But one way I like to help is by participating in beach cleanups. By cleaning the beaches of garbage, I help to reduce the impact this debris would otherwise have on the free life. This also helps to preserve the beach's natural beauty for all to enjoy. I plant butterfly gardens to protect and preserve our planet. Everything on Earth is connected, and if we don't protect and preserve the environment, we aren't protecting and preserving ourselves. How we want to make a difference is before we change the climate change, we have to change ourselves and love ourselves. And talking to all the kids and the grown-ups, too. So if we heal ourselves, the Earth will heal. It changes the world. We change ourselves and then the climate change, but everybody has to change themselves before the climate change does. We preserve our earth by starting small community projects uh, in our neighborhood like trash pickups and uh, collecting plastic bags. Hello! What I'm doing to fight against climate change is what I think is one of the most important fields in order to really conquer this huge challenge, and that's communication. I work in science communication. Right now, for instance, I'm covering an expedition on hydrothermal vent fields in the Gulf of California. Hey, my name is Lara Sanchez, and I am a co-founding member of the Indigenous Peoples of the Coastal Vent. 
I am from Corpus Christi, Texas, and I am a part of the Caronqua Gala Gulf Coast Tribe of Texas. We are living in a climate crisis. The climate crisis is being created by the fossil fuel industry. The voices who are most impacted are the ones that we need to start listening to. These voices include indigenous, black, brown, marginalized, and the youth. These voices are often ignored. The reason why these voices are important is because these are the voices who live in the front lines of this expansion. These are the voices that are putting their bodies on the line to try to stop the fossil fuel from destroying lands and water. These are the voices that are enduring the health risks, that are losing their homes because the fossil fuel industry is trying to expand. Above all else, listen to the youth. They are the ones that are going to take care of the earth when we are no longer here. It is very vital that we start to care about this earth. She is our mother and we need to protect her. Researchers and professionals are telling us that we will not see the world as it is past 2030. If the fossil fuel industry continues to expand, they're going to continue to destroy the land and the water. They're going to pollute the land and the water. They're going to continue exploiting these resources with no idea what they're doing. It's important that we start to make those changes. And there is change happening. There is a shift. There is a transition happening and it's beautiful. Do you know the best way to build anything? Yes, it's with a strong foundation. So let's begin by laying a strong foundation about climate change. You may have heard of net zero, ring any bells? As you may have wondered, the logic behind a net zero emissions target is what? Well, the next TEDx talk is going to be presented by TED Ed, which is TED's Youth and Education Initiative. TED Ed's mission is to spark and celebrate the ideas of teachers like myself and students from around the world. This TED Ed is the first in a seven part series on how to avoid a climate disaster. Our next talk is by Sofia Kiani. Sofia Kiani is a 19 year old Iranian American climate activist. She is the founder and executive director of Climate Cardinals, the youngest member on the inaugural United Nations Youth Advisory Group on Climate Change, and the senior partner at JUV Consulting, a Gen Z marketing agency. Most people around the world know little about climate change and what it is, but Sophia is on a mission to spread the word. Let's welcome Sophia. And now time for a mouthwatering climate change action. You may want to think about your lunch plans for this one. This next talk is by Derek Sarno. Derek is a chef who has co-founded Wicked Healthy, a plant-based food blog with his brother, Chad. How can we spark a worldwide shift to healthier food systems? Welcome, Derek. Now we have a talk presented by the children of Palau. Palau is the first nation on earth to change its immigration laws for the cause of environmental protection. Enjoy learning about the Palau Pledge from the children and the future generations of Palauans. And as you listen, think about what a pledge may look like in your community. Welcome the Palau's children. The TEDx Fellows Program recognizes people at work on future shaping ideas, offering them tools to amplify the power of their vision. Each year, a new group of TED Fellows from all around the world and from every discipline are welcomed into this international community of remarkable thinkers and doers who have shown exceptional courage, strength of character, and the potential to change the world in their perspective fields. Our next talk is by Fariza Fairhan, a 2021 TED Fellow. Fariza is a marine biologist and a forest conservationist. Welcome, Fariza. <laughs> this next talk is by Armand Alex and Maggie Peacock, young environmentalists. Armand is a young climate activist who works to inspire and instill in other environmentalists 
the tools to be effective communicators through his work in organizations like Earth Echo International and GoForEach, he engages young leaders in conversations about climate solutions and dynamic ways to encourage other generations to follow. Armand is currently a student at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, studying science communications and public relations. Maggie Peacock is also a young environmentalist from Lipen, Texas. She too is a student at A&M Corpus Christi and works with other youth, youth activists in multiple organizations, such as the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Youth Advisory Council and the Young Oceans Voice Working Group. She hosts many events and fundraisers at her community schools district and is also the co-founder for the Gulf of Mexico Youth Climate Summit. TEDxers, we present to you from Corpus Christi, Texas, Armand and Maggie with young leaders in today's climate conversation. How can we better protect or regreen the earth? Our next speaker's big idea is all about that. Susan Graham works to restore biodiversity to the Earth's natural ecosystems. Welcome, Susan, with a new way to restore Earth's biodiversity from the air. Hopefully you can see that the science of climate change is clear, dire, and exponential. However, some say that we have failed somehow to humanize this issue. Some people just don't care. Our next speaker is committed to changing this narrative. Naeem Pinaman is a freedom forging futurist who reminds us of our shared humanity. She is the co-founder of Wild Seed Healing Village and the program director of Soul Fire Farm. With the power of stringing words together like pearls, Naeem hopes to connect with your soul and to remind each of us of everything that we share and also everything that we put at risk. Welcome, Naeem. Our final presentation for this event is directed by Louis Schwartzberg, who has been recognized for his sophisticated time-lapse cinematography that celebrates nature, people, and places from all over the world. This video is narrated by Morgan Freeman and presented with music by Hound Zimmer. Here is what's possible. Enjoy. We hope you enjoyed sharing with us this countdown event for climate change. The clock is ticking and the time is now. Sharing voices on stage is only one piece of our commitment to empowering big ideas in our community. Ideas are incredibly special things they begin in the mind of an individual and then they spread from person to person, enabling change both big and small. We wanna take a moment to thank all our sponsors who made this amazing event possible. TEDx Coal Park is presented and organized by volunteers who spend their nights and weekends bringing talks to life. We couldn't do this work without the generosity of our sponsors, and so if you recognize any of them, please take the time to thank them for bringing these ideas to life in our community. We also wanna thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope that you will consider sharing your voice and big ideas with us in a TED Talk. We believe a variety of perspectives is an important and thing and we invite each of you to continue to join us in the spirit of curiosity, friendliness, open-mindedness, and fun. We close today with the words of eight-year-old Frankie Moran. Frankie is a remarkable kid who's been playing the ukulele, the piano, recorder, guitar, drum since he was two years old. Frankie has been raising funding for WWF, which is the World Wildlife fun since he was five. When he read a book about endangered animals, he wanted to make a difference, so he started a club to raise money. Frankie wrote and recorded this song himself and is donating all of his profits to environmental causes. Please take the time to reflect on how each of us really does have the power 
to impact climate change in a positive way. Tomorrow could be a very different day if we all use our full potential. Make today a climate change worthy day. Adios.